Hey guys, it's Doug with Vicaros. Today we're gonna walk through all the steps after you've set up your network. So we're gonna be firing it up on the water, working through running starts, finishes, postponing or abandoning races, and then how to also close your network at the end of the day. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do in the morning is we're gonna mount our coordinator device and we're gonna turn it on. So mounting the coordinator device, we're gonna mount it on a tall pole clear of any obstructions, clear sky view, and this will really help to improve the radio range and the connectivity on your race sense network. So I'm gonna take my coordinator device, I'm gonna turn it on, and I'm gonna go ahead and mount it on our pole. All right, our coordinator's on and mounted, and our next step is gonna be using the race control app to start the network. So the first thing we're going to do is check in the RC devices menu and see that our coordinator device has a blue Bluetooth icon. We can see here that it does, so we're ready to go. The next thing I'm going to click is on the blue race committee dashboard button. When I hit this, it's going to start the process of getting a network set up, and it's going to take about 10 seconds for all the devices to connect. You can see our coordinator says mesh create when we're starting a network. Now we can see on the screen that our participants have joined the network as well as the, as the Bowden pin. We've got blue icons indicating good connectivity, and we've got in the bottom left a line length, which tells us that both ends of our line are connected. 